your day. So, it came to my attention today that I am in need of dishwasher detergent. I'm not thrilled about this, because now I have to go to the grocery stores, which I consider to be, oh, I don't know, the last place I'd want to be with all of this hysteria. But I figured, since I have to go and get the soap anyway... Might as well take a look and see what shelves are actually empty, what people are buying, and try to figure out what could be the purpose for product A to be out of stock. Well, that's pretty full. We have a spot over there, I guess. But again, still pretty full. I parked a little further away, so that way I wasn't too jammed in with people. I can only imagine what I'm going to see in here. I've tried to avoid this. I went to the grocery store a few days ago before all this hysteria hit, and everything was fine. But now I'm curious to see, you know, is it really, really as bad as people said? What we see right here is that we're closing to clean and restock. Probably a good thing. Maybe we should be doing this more often. I don't know. But at least they're letting us know. So from 1 a.m. to 5, closed for cleaning and restocking. But same for me. Okay, starting to see some empty shelves here with the laundry detergent. To be fair, there's plenty here, but you can see all the shelves. Are starting to empty out. And now the fun tissues. There's some definitely starting to disappear. Paper towels. Some. How stupid, right? This is stupid. We're actually running out of the budget. Right. Normally, normal yeah. supply, isn't it? You can't yeah. find it, right? For sure. I don't get it. Completely gone. Every last one. Even the wet flushable types. Gone. Gone. Wait, wait. Got a few. Okay, we got some few here. A few wet wipes left. Everything else at this top that I'm at. Gone. Checking out some of the baby supplies. We still got some diapers. Right? Some wipes. Not many baby wipes, though. I guess in a pinch here, grab some baby wipes. Go back to when you were two. Maybe even find someone to help wipe yourself. Who knows? Oh, we got diapers. Maybe there's adult diapers. Also check the pharmacy. Maybe you can just wear diapers for the next two weeks. If you're that worried about running out of toilet paper, who knows? Good news is that most of the medicines are still here, such as a leaf, Tylenol, Advil. Motrin. But some varieties are out. Now these are good things to have in general. Like you should already have most of these things in your house. So it makes me wonder, like, are people just that unprepared for anything? That they have to go out and mass buy stuff because they don't keep these things in their house normally? I just wonder. Cough drops still here? Okay is good. Uh, that's something I have a decent supply of due to my job. 
I'm going to talk a lot. Right? It's important to keep my voice and throat in good condition. So I have those at home regularly. One of these hand sanitizer are limited to two per customer. I'm going to bet that sign needs to be updated to zero per customer. Due to high demand, we are out of antibacterial soap. And by the look of it, they're out of all soap. However, bar soap, plenty of it. Body wash. When did bar soap go out of style? I just wonder, like, really, when did that go out of style? They have plenty of it here. Doesn't look like the antibacterial variety, but got your dial, coconut water, lavender, dove, keep your skin nice and moisturized. So there is soap. There's even shower gels. Hand sanitizer, no face masks. No liquid soap. Fascinating. Toothpaste and mouthwash. Okay, so now let's see how much shelf stable food is gone, such as rice and beans. Got a decent supply of beans it's still left. Rice, though, at least people are choosing some of the right foods here. Not many bags of that left. At least people are buying somewhat smart here in terms of the food. We need that shelf stable food here. You know, a gallon of milk, right? Can't really leave out. Fruit that's gonna spoil, vegetables. So, again, yeah, a lot of boxed sort of things, I would call these staple sort of things, right? Are still here. Black eyed peas, beans. Split peas to make a nice soup. Kidney beans. On this end cap, we have top pasta sauce, or at least we did at one point. Still some Parmesan cheese. Well, they've left the mushroom variety of top sauce. There's that one. Do the larger sizes. Do the even the larger size of the tops one. Fettuccine. You can make a couple meals out of that with that jar of spaghetti sauce as well too. You can add different things to it along the way to spice it up, right? So this would be good. You wouldn't have to worry about if your power went out. I don't know why it would, but if it did, right, or something was starting to rot, you didn't have a place to store it, right? You could use that right here. So I'm glad to see it starting to go out. That means people are buying the right things. But again, make sure you have these shelf-stable items. And again, plenty of sauces to go with it. So you should be alright. You may not be able to find your favorite sauce or your favorite variety, but it's here. Glad to know that the top sauerkraut is gone. So got some spaghetti sauce. Throw the whip. Futons. Shelf stable items, canned goods, variety. You gotta select you some things, right? Party tomato, chicken corn chowder, beef barley. Same on the other side, you got your canned vegetables, you got your beets, peas. 
even some sliced potatoes, green beans, not too many there, some corn, a few more green beans over down here. Back to the soups. Pork, roasted chicken. And we still have some broth, so people might be making soup, but some are starting to disappear. However, they have the reduced cylinder chicken broth, a vegetable broth, pretty good there. The beef broth. And again, some more shelf stable things are still here. And some macaroni and cheese but definitely starting to disappear. See if they're still on the shelf, as is jelly. But again, you probably don't want to wait too long if you need the stuff normally, let alone if other things start to happen. So, you know, again, peanut butter, good shelf stable item to have. It's nutritious, right, it's hearty. Use it for many different things. Same with the jelly here. Lots of honey. Which I find interesting, considering that one of the things is going to be a cough, right? And this honey would help to soothe, soothe your throat and take care of other things, but yet I feel like we have more than enough honey. So maybe grab that now. We even have some almond butter still. If you have the peanut allergy. Okay. All sorts of different types. Okay. But this would be something I would definitely recommend having. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is shelf stable. Bakery section looks okay. Still got some bagels, English muffins, bread. You know, not all types, but most types. Right? Some of the Arnold sandwich rolls are gone, the wheat one. Right? But again, for the most part bread is here. We look over to the juice box side. Fruit snacks, juice boxes. Looking pretty good. Some are out. So I wouldn't wait too long if you need to get juice boxes or things like that for kids, but it's still here for now. Some of the dessert cake items, your cupcakes, little pastries. They're starting to go, but there's still a decent variety here, so you'd be okay there. In addition, lots of juice. Cereal oil looking pretty good. Again, shelf stable for the for a while there. Right? You can eat it dry without milk, you'll be fine. Same with your granola bars, energy bars. Good stuff to buy. Good selection here still. Uh, let's see what we got there. There's Jeff Power Up, Nature Valley bars. We've got Sunbelt Bakery, Tops Variety, Nature Valley, right? Cereal Isle, good mixture all the way around of the store brand, Tops brand, and your name brand, your Kellogg's, your General Mills, those types. Pancake syrup, pancake mix. Again, I would recommend if you get pancake mix, you get the ones that only need water. Right, so don't need to worry about milk or eggs, okay? But still, plenty of cereal, no need to panic, right? And if you have the sweet tooth, there's still gum, candy, chocolate. So, don't look too bad. Oatmeal, still in stock. Another good shelf stable option, the oats themselves, or even the instant variety. Now you can even eat these without water too. You can eat the packet as is, right? You know, if you are hiking or backpacking, you can do it. It takes a little bit of use to, but you can do it. You can even use it with cold water, right? If you can't heat it up, right? Again, it takes a little bit of use to, but it can be done. Tarts. Bagels, 
Lots of roll sticks. Vegetables missing. But for the most part, we've got peas and carrots, corn, corn, green and red diced peppers, Brussels sprouts, squash. So I mean, yeah, it's starting to go a little bit, but there are options. You want cold cuts? Again, it's shelf stable, but at least there are some options. power goes out, but again, you want to be prepared in case you can't use things. If the gas is out or the electric is out for other reasons, weather. So, no lines at the checkout, makes it easy. So, clearly there's not either panic or a reason for that yet. Batteries, eh, starting to go a little bit, but there are options. Again, this is just one store, but all the lines pretty good so that was my trip out to tops nothing too picked over but unbelievable about that toilet paper i just i don't understand it but it is what it is i just i wonder do people not keep things in their house normally medicines and cleaners and disinfectants and soap and then when something like this starts to happen you have to go buy it in bulk uh, i don't know it's just not something i ever did so i have plenty of that already at my house so i'm good you know, I needed things that I ran out of from normal use. I needed the dishwasher detergent. I actually, you know, washed my dishes in the dishwasher and it uses soap. So, I don't know. It's only the second or third one I bought since I moved into my new apartment. So, uh, I don't know. I just don't have it stocked up like that and I, I buy it when I need it. But, you know, other things, I've got plenty of boxes of tissues at home, soap, uh, disinfectants and cleaners. I don't wait till something happens and I need it. So... I don't know, but good news is there's a lot of shelf-stable stuff available still. Pasta, peanut butter, cookies, cereals, granola bars, but I wouldn't wait too long because I'm sure once the, you know, we hear that one person or two people are confirmed to have it, it's going to be even more chaotic than it is now. So it's always good to prepare when you can, but again, I wouldn't, you know, panic about all this stuff and, and, and buy this stuff and hoard this stuff. But uh, that's my look at tops. And, you know, let me know what your store looks like. Do you have more or less of things? Uh, what are you doing to prepare? Uh, do you normally keep the stuff in your house anyway so this isn't too big of a deal? Or are you sort of caught in a pinch now because you didn't have all this stuff to begin with? So we'll see you later. Have a great day. Be safe, everyone. Enjoy your day.